Hi, I'm Ty Penelbury from CNET.com and this is a review of the Forest PS1 speaker. In 2013, there's been a rash of new wireless audio products hitting the market, from Samsung to Bose to sound engineering company DTS. PlayFi by DTS is the latest attempt at a wireless audio standard designed to compete with current kings Sonos and Apple AirPlay. Forest's PS1 speaker is one of the first products to be released with the standard, though more are promised for CES 2014. The PS1 is a stereo speaker which resembles an iPod dock with its large rubber holster, but it won't actually dock with anything, not without running a separate USB cable around the back. Unfortunately, when playing with it though, it does feel a little cheap in its construction. This speaker supports both the PlayFi standard and Bluetooth, and there are dedicated buttons for each on the front of the unit. While Bluetooth connection is the most straightforward, connecting via PlayFi requires the Forus app which isn't as easy to use or configure as Sonos's. The app is available for iOS and Android, but they don't yet have the same functionality. For example, you can't currently stream from a NAS or other computer with the iOS app, just the phone itself and Pandora. While DTS has promised a lot of updates, including high resolution support, a PC app, and more streaming services, it's pretty much limited to standard MP3 and FLAC and Pandora playback. Performance, though, is its biggest problem. Getting a solid connection proved a hurdle with occasional dropouts even over Wi-Fi and the app would lose the dock completely and need to reconnect. In comparison, our Sonos Play 1 didn't have these problems and remained solid throughout. Sound quality was pretty average too with a very woolly mid-rangey type sound and the Play 1 blew it out of the water in both bass response and fine detail. Given that these two speakers are the same price at $200 and the Sonos system is so good in comparison, I can't yet recommend the Forest PS1. However, I do look forward to seeing what improvements DTS can make with its system as it still has a lot of promise. It just needs to be more reliable. This has been Ty Pendlebury for CNET.com.